Neighbors in Westwood Square say that speeding cars have been a problem on Castroville Road. Yeah, we highlighted their safety concerns as part of our Know My Neighborhood episode in Westwood Square back in October. It took them months to get San Antonio police to install this radar trailer. The neighbors said that they had issues getting the data until our Daniela Ibarra requested it from the city, and it showed that at least one out of every five cars, five cars, was speeding. Castroville Road can get dangerous. Bill Pena drives on it all the time. It's a very busy um, road corridor. Her neighbor, Jesusita Rios, says it's why they push for a study on speeding cars. Need protection, our elderly need protection, so do our kids. San Antonio police temporarily installed this radar trailer in November. Officer Nick Solis told us then it's meant to remind drivers to slow down and follow the 35 mile an hour speed limit. And they're not necessarily trapping people. It's more for the public to see that we're trying, you know, in, in, and hearing their, their, their concerns and voices. Rios and Peña wanted to see the data the trailer collected for themselves. We wanted to see the, uh, the written report and we've asked for it several times already. And so we've been waiting quite a while. After four months of waiting, they finally saw the survey report this week. We got copies of it through an open records request. And I do thank KSAT 12 for that, because if not, we wouldn't have gotten anything. This report breaks down two weeks worth of data here on Castroville Road. It shows between 21 to 25 percent of cars went above the 35 mile an hour speed limit. I thought that was a high number. Uh, you know, that is a high number for me. Even 10 percent to me is a high number. The data shows 2 percent of cars were excessively speeding. The report shows one car hit speeds of 101 miles an hour. Data tells me again that it's uh, we have a high volume, uh, different speeds, uh, different uh, speeds at different times. Pena says she wants to know how school zones and crosswalks play into the data. She and Rios hope the report leads to safety improvements. Speeding is speeding. You know, so I'm just looking at the overall picture. So again, I want that conversation to take place with SAPD to see, OK, how do you gauge this exactly? SAPD says this data is just a small part about the traffic safety conversation here in the neighborhood. They say they're working on meeting with District 5 to talk about it. In Westwood Square, Daniela Ibarra, KSAT 12 News.